Hey everyone, well what I'm going to show you today is how we can create a flipped classroom scenario using PowerPoint and specifically using two main tools. One is the screen recorder and number two is the record the PowerPoint show. Okay, I'm going to show you how we use that and you're going to love this teachers, trust me. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, here I have a presentation. As you can see, I have a presentation and uh, it's just a demonstration. So let's say I'm having a presentation all about using OneNote. And in the background, just behind my PowerPoint, I've got my OneNote file open and ready to demonstrate. So back to my PowerPoint show, I go to a new slide. I've just got a plain blank slide because this is where the screen recording is going to go. You can do as many screen recordings as you like. There's no real limit. Just, uh, you know that I'm aware of so the first thing is look in your tab now I'm assuming your PowerPoint is up to date okay office 365 all the latest bells and whistles if not speak to your IT guys ask them to help you get your PowerPoint up to date you should see a recording tab there it is there recording if you see office mix you need to get rid of that that's been stopped like ages ago okay Right, so in the recording tab, I've got a couple of things here. I've got record slideshow. I can insert forms. I can do screenshots, screen recording. I can insert an existing video, audio, an existing audio file. I can then save, export, or publish it to the stream if you're using Microsoft Stream. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the screen recording first to show you how you can use the screen recording function. Have a look. It's super, super easy. So don't forget, you have a, a, a plain slide or any slide, just one that's not got content on it. I'm going to click on screen recording. And I've got a couple of things happening here. I've got the area that I need to select. So you go ahead and you select just by clicking and dragging your mouse on the area that you want to record. Okay, that's the first thing. So you can see I've set the boundaries of my screen recording. You can then decide, do I want to record my microphone or do I not want to record the microphone? In other words, are you going to do narration or not? I'm going to do that and see what happens because I'm recording audio right now with something else. I'm going to see what it does. This is going to be very interesting. Record the pointer, very handy, especially if you are using the mouse to point out things. So I would leave that on if I was you. We click on the record button there, we wait, and you can see it tells you the Windows logo key, Shift and Q. So now we begin our recording. So I'm recording and I can click on things. I can say, all right, so in your OneNote notebook, we've got a content library. In your content library, I've got all my sections. There you can see my sections. In each section, I've got the pages. I've got links. I've got video things and so on and so forth. So I'm doing my screen recording. When you are done with your screen recording, the window key, Shift Q, that stops the recording and you can see on my slide now I've actually got the screen recording that I just did. That whole video that I just recorded is there. So if I go ahead and play that. You can see that it recorded everything perfectly. I'm going to just mute that so you can see the video playing through. And there it is there on my slide the easiest thing ever. So if you had work that you wanted them to go through or some information that you wanted to teach them in some documents, screen recording is your best friend. All right, so that's the screen recording done and dusted. And let's say you had a, another slide um, and you had some content there and you had some information on the slide, etc. Let's say you had another slide. Okay, so, you know, there you go. These are, there's nothing on there. I don't have time to make up stuff. So, uh, Right, so now you can see I've got a presentation. I have my introduction slide, a slide with a screen recording, a content slide there, some more information there. So that's the, pretty much where we want to be right now. Now, back to recording. And this is uh, another cool tool that you can use. It's the record slideshow and I'll show you what it does. So you click record slideshow and up pops this window here and you can now go through each slide, one slide at a time, 
providing a video interface and narration and using your pen tools at the bottom. Now I'm going to try and use the HP webcam. There we go. That is absolutely perfect and that's perfect as well. 100%. Okay. So now let's just switch back there. Here we go. <coughs> This is what you can do. Now at the bottom right hand side, we haven't started recording just yet. We have a couple of options. We have the microphone, you can switch that on or off. The camera, you can switch that on or off. And then of course turn that off completely altogether. So you can see yourself or you can not see yourself. That's up to you. If you switch off the camera, it will not record yourself. If you switch off the microphone, it will not record any audio. Okay, so let's put that on just so you can see what it's doing. And uh, right, so we begin our recording of our slideshow. So we click on the record button. Three, two, one. Right, and you say, welcome class. This is your lesson on all about using OneNote. And as you can see, this is going to be the best presentation ever. And if you're not sure about that, I'm going to take my highlighter and I'm just going to highlight that the best presentation ever. There you go. Okay, that's not the best highlighter ever. But anyway, let's move on. I've clicked on the next slide. So now I'm on the next slide. It's still recording. So don't do what I'm doing now. Say, okay. So as you can see, everybody, there's a video that I made earlier and it's taking you through the various blah, 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 blah. Pay attention to that. Very important. It's gone. Here is our content slide. And as you're talking, you can talk to the camera that you're recording with, because obviously your students are going to be watching you on the camera. So you can then draw things. You can choose different tools. OK, you guys with me? You even got access to your notes, if you had notes there. And then we stop the recording. Right, the recording has now stopped. Let's have a look. Close that there. <coughs> Excuse me. Go back to our first slide. As you can see, have a look. There is our first slide. There you can see is my little video clip. There's the highlighting that I made. I can move this anywhere I want. I can even put it right in the middle if I wanted to. Um, that's up to you. I kind of like it at the top, you know, sort of at the top in the slide there. But um, we'll leave it there for now. There's my second slide, third slide, fourth slide. All that's left to do now is you've done your screen recording, which you've placed on your second slide. That's recording what was ever on your screen. And you've done your slideshow recording. So you've recorded the whole presentation now. And now it's time to make it available for your students. So you have three choices here. Number one, you can save this as a PowerPoint show. That's a PPSX file, and that means that you can put that file in Teams or email it to them or put it in your OneDrive. They can double click on that file and it will then just play automatically. They don't have to open up PowerPoint. They won't see all of these slides like this. They won't see that. They will see the finished product. Number two, you can export this as a video file, just a standard video file like MP4, I think it is, and they can just double click, plays the video. Perfect. Or you can even publish this if you have Microsoft Stream in your school network. It's kind of like a local private YouTube video channel group for your whole school. That's really useful as well because that integrates very nicely into Teams as well. So you can do any one of those three things. And that is how you do a screen recording in PowerPoint uh, and a PowerPoint recording as well. So you go to recording, screen recording, record whatever is on your screen, do all the narrating that you need, it puts it onto the slide for you, and then record your slideshow where you go through all the content and all the material that you've provided, narrating, highlighting, etc. And I hope that's been helpful for you.